Hi there, Eric Tapper with Global Comics, and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up Crowdfinder. So once I've created my account and I have uh, my publisher page, I'm going to click Manage Series here on the menu. I'm going to click the comic for which I want to set up the crowdfunding campaign. I'm going to go up here to Advanced Settings next to Releases. <clears throat> and on the left bar under Monetization, we see Crowdfunding. So we click that, and then we see that there's just a few boxes that we need to fill in. So I'm going to show you what that looks like already filled out with our friends at Unlikely Hero Studios, who are running a campaign at the time of this video. Now, they, uh, we're going to display the crowdfunding banner, which you'll see uh, what that looks like in a moment. They happen to be uh, raising a Kickstarter, but you can do any of the three you just saw. Fundraising goal, campaign link, which you know you can use tracking links if, you, if you'd like to understand the traffic coming from Global Comics. And then finally, your time zone of the start date and the end date of the campaign. Quick note, if your campaign is coming up, you can program this the same way you would in any other way. And on the start date and time, the uh, crowdfunder banner will show up at that start date. If you're in the middle of your campaign, you can set this up all the same and it'll automatically go live as long as it's with it within the window of these. And then finally, if you've already set up your campaign and the end date has passed, you can do this anyway and it will ask you if your crowdfunding campaign was successful. And if you click yes, you will be put into the successful section, which I'll show you in just a moment. So we click Save Changes. <clears throat> Wonderful. Now that that's there, we're going to go to our Browse section on Global Comics. We'll see that we're in the all, uh, you know, everything, no filters on. Over here on the left, you'll see crowdfunding. We're going to click Active Campaign. And now your comic, or in this case, Elsewhere, by Unlikely Hero Studios, is available as an active comic to, or that comic that is actively funding. So if we click that, we now see the banner we were talking about earlier. We can click Support Unlikely Hero Studios. When we do that, we're brought to the campaign. Simple as that. The other thing I'll add is that in this case, they have Elsewhere Volume 1 that's being crowdfunded and they are crowdfunding for Elsewhere Volume 2. So in this case, they have <clears throat> the first in a series that they can present. But if you don't have a comic yet on Global Comics, but you only have a few pages, you can still upload a preview to Global Comics and then do this exact same process. So you're not limited if you don't yet have a complete product. And then finally, once the campaign is passed or you put in your campaign retroactively, you will then be asked, was this crowdfunding campaign successful? If we click yes, it will automatically be filtered into what we saw earlier, which will go here, let's go to browse comics, into the successfully funded section. <clears throat> and that will be forever in this category and folks who are interested in finding, you know, comics that have had successful campaigns can search for them here. And if you weren't successful, don't worry. This, I think that's more common. Uh, than not, and you know, better luck next time. So that's how to set up Crowdfinder. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to comment below or reach out to us at contact at globalcomics.com. And we're looking forward to your campaign. Have a great one.